afternoon filled with joy and talent as our 6A students will be performing a play and the name of the play School, School Days and our talented students will be playing musical instruments. Um, we will be starting with grade 6A uh, with Ms. Mesa Hab, I give the floor to you. Hi everyone and welcome. Uh, as usual, we uh, present a play at the end of uh, the school year. Uh, Christmas time, it was uh, six C's uh, performance, six C, okay. Uh, six B's turn was uh, on Easter, I guess, and now six A students are going to perform school days uh, play. Uh, and believe me, they wrote and they do this in class, you will see now. Enjoy the show, and uh, I hope that you enjoy the musical instruments also played by our talented students from all grades, four, five, and six. Right? Good luck, everyone. Guys, I love you, good luck. Full of life show. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Please take your seats silently and mute your phones and enjoy the show. See you soon. <laughs> okay, classy. Today we are going to learn some basic Mandarini. Let's start you with Niha, which means hello. Naiho. Naiho. Mrs. Lee, may I ask you a question? Of course, you, Paulinho. Do you know any Kung Fu moves? What does that have to do with our lesson, Paulinho? But yes, of course. <laughs> Mrs. Lee, can you say that president? I need to quite catch it. Catch it, catch it. Sure, Valerie. Ni hao means hello. But what if I accidentally say it wrong and offend someone? I offend someone. Don't worry, Sophie. Mrs. Lee will correct you if you make a mistake. 
Exactly. Now, let's say it all together. Ni hao. Ni hao. No, no, no. You're not cowboysies and cowgirlsies. It's ni hao. Let's try it here again. Ni hao. This is going to be a long lesson. I'd prefer if I'd stick to English. Yeah, I don't think Mandan is our strong suit here. <laughs> At least we tried, right? Well, we'll just have to be practicing some more tomorrow. Classy dismissed. I'm back! <laughs> so, so in this period, we're going to learn about World War II. Open your books to page 70. I don't need mine, Mr. Johnson. I've memorized it all. It was a global conflict that lasted from 1939 to 1945. But sir, how can a war last for six long years? That's half my age. Well, Paulinho, it was a, it was a very complex and long-lasting war that involved many countries around the world. Mr. Johnson, I heard that the war stopped because of sound. And sound Avicii? Are you sure? Yeah, apparently someone in Poland stole a sandwich from Germany, and that's how the war started. I'm sure I will. Deutschland, Deutschland, über alles, über alles in der Welt. Wenn es stets zu Schutz und Trutze, Brüder... Okay, okay, enough, enough, okay. That's not quite accurate, girls. The causes of the World War II were much more complicated than Asanda Vici. I still don't understand why we need to learn about something that happened so long ago. Because, Alex, understanding our past is crucial for understanding our present and our future. Mr. Johnson, can you speak about the cool airplanes and tanks? I'm afraid it's not that simple, Daniel. There are many different factors that contributed to the outcome of the war. Mr. Johnson, can we at least mo watch a movie about it? Yeah, where the soldiers are fighting zombies. Soldiers fighting zombies? That's not an accurate portrayal of the World War II, Paolo. I guess we're stuck here for another hour, then. Well, I'll make it interesting for you all. Now that's it on our lesson of World War II. Goodbye. What do we have now? Ah, oh, Arabic. Okay, guys, hear me out. We should probably switch all the Arabic words in her textbook with made up words. Ooh, that could be funny. But how are we going to make up fake words? I got it. We can use online translators and then just put in random letters until we get a. So something that sounds like a real word. Yes, and then we could watch her trying to figure out what the heck is going on. But guys, won't she be really upset if she can't teach her lesson properly? <laughs> you know what, it's just our Miss Frank. Yeah, it's not that good for her to learn Yeah, and think how funny it could be when you tell her at the end of the class. It could be hilarious. Okay, I'm in. But we have to make sure we don't get caught. Yeah, it will be Agreed. worth it. Let's do this. Agreed? Oh. Agreed? Agreed! Okay, hear me out. Valerie, you take the first group. Jeff, J JJ, you take the second, and I'll take the third. Agreed? Got it. Got it? Got it? Got it! This is gonna be so funny! Come on, guys, let's get to work before someone catches us. Okay, let's get our, in our seats before she comes. Oh, that's Miss Aswad. Hi, Miss Aswad. <laughs> <laughs> هيا يا أطفال افتحوا كتبكم كي لا نتأخر ما هذا؟ ما هذه الكلمات؟ أكل الولد الطاولة؟ جلسنا طويلا على الخسة؟ ذهبنا مع أقربائي إلى القمامة؟ ما هذا؟ ما بدل الكلمات؟ آه لقد فهمت أنا آسف يا مس أسود لا أقصد أن أزعجك لقد كنا نمزح أسوف أساعدك مش أسود شكرا يا أطفال أحترم سادستكم وأصدقائكم دوما I think Miss Aswad taught us a lesson today We should always respect our teachers, parents and friends شو رأي بدخل بعد شي غطة ميرة Ajadula! Ajadula! <laughs> Just let her be. She is my sleeping beauty. Ooh! Quit it, 
guys, how long they only like each other. Juliet, I love these. We love these too. <laughs> guys, my shoes is coming. Good morning, class. Guys, sit down. You tie hair, you tie hair, you tie hair, you tie hair. Uh, Mrs. Shields is absent because she slipped in the bathtub and broke her nose. Hey. So today we will talk about our school memories. Can we go to the football fields? Please, 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 please. Yes. No. Sit, uh, sit, sit in your place. You tie hair, tie hair, tie hair, tie hair. Martin and Freddy and Mrs. Lee broke her nose. It was so fun. Yeah, it was so fun. And you, Val, what was your favorite school memory? It was when I realized that grades don't define you. At the start, we might all fail, but at the end, we will all succeed in our own way. Can I say? Can I say? Can I say? My favorite school day was when JJ sang the German national anthem, and I knew that I wanted to serve my country, Lebanon. skills, their mimicry and imitation, um, and the sense of fun that they generated. I'm sure you were trying to recognize your own teachers in amongst that group. Um, but I want to say at the end that uh, what I really liked about this play was their singing of the Lebanese national anthem at the end, because as we all know, we live in a troubled country which has more problems in a day than the country I come from has in a year. But what they said was, we want to save our country. If I can teach this generation of children to save their country, Lebanon has a bright future. And let's hope in our heart of hearts that that is the case, because that's why we are all here. So please join me, I don't know where they've gone, they've probably gone to the tuck shop, um, but please join me in congratulating all the children uh, on their performance today. It was, uh, it was splendid uh, and a very nice idea. Uh, it reminded me of a play that I was involved in, in this grade, grade six, about a hundred years ago. <laughs> And I still remember the fun that I had, and I hope that these children will remember the fun they've had today when they're as old as I am. So congratulations to them all, and thank you very much for coming along to watch them. Mr. Camille, 